Hi folks, this is your MWIST Winter Planner updated on Friday the 2nd of December. It's looking pretty good for some winter weather patterns as we go possibly even through the next few weeks as high pressure is due to be established towards the north of Britain. That will help feed in an east or a northeast of the airflow. So we're looking at uh, frozen terrain across the mountains uh, pretty extensively uh, for a sustained period and we'll see some snow as well. The focus of that is towards the north and the east of Britain. Let's start off to look at those pressure patterns as we go through the next few weeks then and the pink colours on this chart refer to higher than average pressure and that's over a seven day period. The suggestion then that high pressure is dominant towards the north of us centred around Greenland. Lower pressure is away toward the south, the airflow then coming out of Scandinavia on an east by northeasterly wind through the week ahead. Even as we go forwards through the middle of December, we see uh, still high pressure focused around Greenland. Lower pressure toward the south of Britain, maybe just nudging in at times across more southern regions. Broadly, though, the airflows are still likely to be easterlies, with the cold air particularly in place across northern regions. There may be some attempt at less cold air that gets in from the south across England and Wales. A lot to play for in uh, the weather scenarios at this distance. But I would suggest the message remains a wintry looking one across the mountains of Britain. It seems to be a similar story as we run onwards towards the Christmas period. High pressure stays toward the north. We're seeing lower pressure uh, around Britain as a whole. So the idea of some fairly mixed weather patterns, but with chillier air still very much in the picture, it seems like, uh, with that awkward mix of some rain, sleet and snow. But across the mountain regions, uh, cold air masses still around would more likely uh, produce uh, some snowfalls. A lot to play for with detail as we go forwards, but it doesn't look as though we're seeing any real push of milder Atlantic weather patterns at this stage. Let's run you through the freezing level then for the week ahead and starting off early on Saturday morning and we're generally for Saturday going to see a freezing level at around 800 metres, perhaps a bit lower than that, increasingly across eastern hills. But we do still have a wedge of less cold air that exists just off the west coast of Scotland where uh, temperatures have been broadly above freezing point on the mountains in the last day or so. But that's getting squeezed out of the way as the chillier air extends further north westwards across the highlands so that by the end of the day uh, most of the highlands Islands are seeing a freezing level at around 800 metres, barring just the immediate northwesternmost coast. Even there, it will drop below freezing to 800 metres or so as we go overnight into Sunday. And in fact, that freezing level will lower further with pretty widespread frost from Glen levels upwards as we go into a Sunday morning. Sunday daytime sees a freezing level somewhere between around 600 and 800 metres then, at lowest across Wales and some eastern hills in Scotland probably as well. Taking things onwards into next week, we will see some regular frost overnight in many valleys and glens. The freezing level on the mountains uh, through Monday is still at around 800 metres or so, so not a huge amount of change there from the weekend and even onwards into Tuesday, a similar sort of story. Some local pockets where the freezing level is a bit below 800 metres, but that's your rough benchmark at this stage. But look toward the north and there is some colder air draining in. So as we go into midweek, it could well be that much terrain is then frozen. This is the situation for Wednesday and you're seeing even at midday Wednesday, a potential freezing level down to 400 metres in northeast Scotland, broadly four to 600 metres across most of North England and around 600 metres too across Wales. As we head into Wednesday night, again, all terrain then becoming frozen according to these model charts. And through Thursday, uh, really barely getting that freezing level above 400 metres. So at this stage, any precipitation that falls would likely be snow to the very lowest of elevations. And the modelling at this stage keeps that very low freezing level to the end of the upcoming week. So terrain becoming extensively frozen, but will we have any lying snow to go with that? Well, let's have a run through the snow depth chart then through the week ahead. And for Saturday, there is nothing showing up on this map. There may be a few pockets where just some of the highest summits have got some snow from previous days, but very minimal in extent at this stage. Uh, through into Sunday and a few flurries just showing up something across some of the higher tops, even into Wales. The model just picking out on a little bit there. But again, it's uh, small amounts, mostly just from flurries, but maybe just give a dusting on some slopes and that's through into Monday and not much has changed. Taking the story onwards though into midweek and things start to get more interesting as that freezing level drops the potential for snow to lie uh, gets down to some lower elevations increasingly so with time and as we pick up a stronger northeasterly wind by this stage 
then a greater chance of some more substantial snowfalls into the Cairngorms, maybe a bit more broadly across northern Scotland and onto the Pennines as well. Taking things onwards into the second half of the week, and although some uncertainty of absolute detail, just look how the map starts to fill in with the potential for lying snow, even more broadly over the Pennines to the Peak District to Wales as well. Uh, the greatest falls showing up over the Cairngorms could be very substantial falls there, if this is to be believed around the Cheviots as well, the North Pennines. There's even the model suggesting lying snow across lowland parts of central and eastern England. So an interesting story developing as we go towards the second half of the week. More western mountains seeing uh, much lower totals. It could be that some areas of western Scotland, the western Lake District, and even western parts of Wales see very little, if anything, of snow, maybe just a bit coming through at times. It's those eastern and northeastern parts that are most prone to some more substantial falls. So watch this one very carefully. To finish with, just to show you how things unfold on the synoptic charts and for Saturday, you can see the high that is over Scandinavia. We've got a weak front then just draped in across northwest Scotland and that will produce some patchy light rain and some snow flurries, particularly areas more around the Great Glen. And that just may be shuffling a bit further westwards across the northwest highlands with time. One or two light showers coming in on the easterly breeze that will be particularly chilly across the Pennines and Wales and on the high tops at the wind chill factor feeling like minus 10. Air temperature is close to freezing as well. Now those easterly winds strengthen for all into Sunday, 25-30 miles per hour or a bit gustier in places and chill factors that will feel like minus 10 to minus 15 even on some higher exposed tops, so do bear that in mind. Uh, snow flurries, uh, greatest risk of those across more eastern hills, a few may track across the Pennines and into Wales at times, typically some small amounts though further west that you go. And western Scotland seeing a fairly bright day with some sunshine and well broken cloud, lowest of any cloud base places on eastern hills. A similar feel to things on Monday. Strongest winds look to be from southern Scotland southwards again, 25-30 miles per hour plus over, over the higher terrain and with that significant chill factor once again. Some snow flurries around, pretty well scattered, amounts pretty small, focused again in the east. Again, a chilly wind, maybe not quite as strong by Tuesday, but still that uh, marked chill factor will be around. Again, we'll see some snow flurries focused across more northern and northeastern facing hills. Further west, it's a brighter day with some sunshine. You can see how the wind pattern has just turned around a bit more northeasterly by Wednesday, and that's really setting the scene for that much colder air in the second half of the week. Uh, the wind flow also coming more directly into the Cairngorms gives the scope for snowfall starting to increase here, and some flurries coming in from the northeast elsewhere. But once more, western Scotland in particular, and probably the western side of uh, the Lake District too, seeing a largely dry and bright day, but still a significantly chilly one where exposed to that wind. Plenty to watch then as the week unfolds. Winter is very much starting. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.